Hi, this is Denise with Delphi. I want to show you how to set up the Beetle Bits Cutting System and also the Flying Beetle Attachment. What we're going to do is we're going to start out on our Morton board that you see here. Now I've used my large one. There's also the smaller boards. There's also the four pack that you can attach together. But you want to get your Morton board out um, and then follow along with how we're going to get the rest of this set up. Okay, the first thing that we're going to install on the board is the compass. The compass is going to go right at the bottom of your board, like so. The next thing we want to install is the ruler. The ruler, uh, let me just get this installed. We'll show you that in a second. So you get your ruler placed down. The only way I know to tell you to do this is you should have one full open slot here and then two partials. So you basically have that space uh, between here and your ruler. There is also a ruler stabilizer that you're going to use. Um, you're going to place that down and that's going to help to hold this ruler in place. What I need you to do is to make sure that the zero is lined up with this line that lines up with the 60. So the line that runs under the 60 is the same line where your zero needs to be this ruler will slide back and forth until you tighten it down with this thumb screw here. So I'm going to line that up and I'm going to tighten that down. Now that it's tightened down, I'm going to take uh, my pivot pointer and now my pivot pointer is just going to snap on just like so. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to install the straight edge. This is what um, you're going to use to run your flying beetle down to do some strip cutting. So we're going to put it here on our pivot pointer and then this is our right angle position or up here at the top. So just snap everything kind of in place. This that you see here, this is what they call a cutter compensator and you'll see in a second how handy it is. If I pull it all the way down, it completely lines up with that zero, right? Basically, the outside of this is where the cutter is going to be. So that's a perfect lineup, and that's what we were attempting to do. I'm now going to push this out of the way, and now I'm going to install my flying beetle. The flying beetle is nothing more than an attachment that slides on this bar, like you see here. And with glass underneath it, I'll be able to push this down and make my cut quickly and easily, which I'm getting ready to show you how to do. Before I do that, you can see here there's a little yellow pointer on the bottom of your flying beetle. That is also now pointing exactly at the zero mark. If it is not, loosen your thumb screw and just tighten it down. But again, very important that that yellow arrow is matching up to that zero line uh, before we get started. Okay, now we're ready to take our glass and make some basic strip cuts on it. So what we're going to do, we know our cutter is at the zero, so I'm going to slide my glass under the bar till we get to the half inch mark on my ruler. Then starting with my beetle, my flying beetle here at the top of my glass, I will drag it down and I will make my first cut. I'll slide, or my first score, I'll slide it over to the one inch mark, make my second, slide it over to the next, slide it to there. So as you can see, I've made all kinds of half inch strip cuts quickly that now, just by a simple How easy was that? The next thing I want to show you is how to cut squares. Same basic principle as before. This time we're going to run this under and we're going to make a uh, one inch strip. Break that off. Now I'm going to run it back under to the one inch mark. Slide it over to the two inch mark. Slide it over to the three inch mark. And in just a few seconds, we have perfect one inch squares for all kinds of projects. Now I'm going to show you how to cut uh, triangles with your beetle bit system. In this particular setup though, we are going to need to attach 
our uh, left and, and right guides, uh, this is important when this arm swivels around to the 60 degree mark. This is going to allow us to make a perfect triangle. So first thing we have to do though is to start out, we're going to make a 3 inch triangle. So I'm going to slide my glass under the system to the 3 inch mark on my uh, ruler and I'm going to discuss my beetle, my flying beetle. And I am going to score and break that off. Now what we're going to do, now that we've got that done, I'm going to take my bar and I'm going to swivel it around until it hits the 60 degree mark down here on my, uh, on my pivot pointer. Now that I have this in place, I want to make sure that I have my flying beetle will start on the glass and it will end on the glass. If you want to practice a little bit and give yourself plenty of room on both sides or if you're trying to conserve your glass, um, just make sure your yellow pointer is going to make the glass, uh, it's going to stay on the glass the entire time. Okay, so we're going to move that over. Press down our flying beetle. Make our first cut. Now my bar is going to swivel around to the other side. And I will slide my glass under. And until I get to the top of my triangle, must line up with my pointer on my flying beetle. I get onto the glass. I make my next cut break that off, and I have a perfect triangle, equal on all three sides. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to get the angles set for our diamond. We've got our strip. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to remove the flying beetle out of the way and I'm going to bring my bar over to this side. And how I figured out where this goes is I lay my diamond on its side and using my cutting compensators I can more or less get an idea of where you can see that, where that perfect angle is for this particular cut. I'm going to loosen up the thumb screw here and get my glass stop locked in place. I'm ready to move these out of the way. Put my flying beetle on. First cut I'm going to make, I want to make sure that my uh, cutter head is going to stay on the glass the entire time. So make my first cut. Break it off, slide it back under till I get to the glass stop again. Make my second cut. 